Welcome to the first episode of the Ranvi show that was shot in our new space. This new space has already given us a lot as a team as individuals and you'll see the different flavor that this space has brought to the show through this episode. We also are experimenting with some slightly different formats of the Ranvi show. The English version of our podcast has been around now for around 170 180 episodes or so. I think totally we've recorded 250 episodes or so on the Hindi and English one put together. As a content creator, I have to keep reinventing, and that's why my first experiment had to be with someone who's a very good hamster for all my experiments, Mr. Viraj Shade, my brother. This one's going to be pacey. We're talking about uh, the internal world of social media and YouTube, the things that the audiences don't get to see. We also, very importantly, spoke about some news. some current affairs based topics that's going to be the new flavor of the show the new generation of trs episodes is now here so make sure you follow us on spotify trs is a spotify exclusive which means that every episode is available on spotify 48 hours before it's available anywhere else in the world highlights of this episode are available on our youtube channel the ranveer show clips so if you just want highlights make sure you check out that channel but for now This is generation 2 of the Ranveer show coming straight at you. Enjoy yourselves. Dosto namaste welcome to the new vibe in the renvi show this is the first shoot in our new space we built out a studio in our house and of course the first guest in the new studio had to be mr siraj wait <laughs> what's up am i a fast bowler for india now <laughs> mr viraj shit yes so we're going to be going in with a new flavor on today's uh, episode Can and we any... do a naked podcast Just yeah yeah it's it's kind of i i kind of want to make the podcast very open i want to make it tastier we're right. dividing the podcast into segments more and intimacy in the podcast needed yeah. this yeah. is the new um, kind of generation of trs episodes we still have to release some of our episodes from the previous space mm-hmm. but everything recorded here will kind of have this vibe especially when you are here recording with us you're yeah. going to be a lot more on this show yay publicity more followers blue ticks <laughs> what what are you expecting more from the podcast in terms of what how, how do you think it's going to change i feel like we need more bak- on the podcast right mm. guys in the comments please mention i feel like he information heavy bahut badhiya hai like i mean i want to learn about what an army marshal feels what an author is thinking about things like that and that was the vibe so far mm. but now it needs to be a little more personal also once mm. in a while we mm. will keep bringing celebrities we will keep bringing very accomplished people but we also need to bring in people who you are close to mm. so that you know there's a different Yeah. sort of vibe going on uh we're going to do a lot of three person four person maybe five person episodes mm. um we are going to also talk a lot of rubbish sometimes <laughs> but we're trying to make this thing with viraj shet probably a weekly thing yeah. so let's see keep showering us with your support <laughs> just support just shower us golden with support <laughs> <laughs> want some of those golden showers nah, no nope. anyway that, that's the issue you don't know where humor can turn into offending people like yeah. you'll you'll say something casually and then twitter will be pissed off how dare you say uh, golden showers yeah. from audience so today oh. beer triceps or tequila triceps so the fun part about twitter is it's always angry the thing <laughs> is that they never actually say out your actual name <laughs> like yeah. they will always try to make you oh someone whiskey biceps yeah, said whiskey this biceps Tequila, tequila biceps. Said this. I'm like, like you know, up, that's man. that's been the big uh, discovery of the last two years. I think prior mm. to that, we were the most loved content creators. Oh, these guys are so underrated. Oh, <laughs> uh, we can't we can't wait for these guys to Fashion begin popping. Fashion by yeah, how many clothes they are wearing, they are wearing. What a beautiful guy. And and in the last two years, it's become <laughs> f-ing guy. Ah, toxic hustle culture. Hustle culture. Motivation. This guy. I hate him so much. There's been a whole section that's. That's kind dedicated of. to hating on you. I think there are people who are probably having full time jobs just to pick nitpick. Ki acha Ranveer ne ab kya kiya? The thing is, you're making so much content yeah. across all platforms. There is something you can always take out of context, 
एंड से कि हाँ ये तो गलत है लाइक दे टेक आउट वन वन सेक्शन ऑफ सम ब्लॉग्स पुट इट आउट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स वन वन सेक्शन ऑफ पॉडकास्ट बट अगेन एज अभिषेक बच्चन सेड इन गुरु हमारे गांव में एक कहावत है कि अगर लोग आपकी बुराई कर रहे हैं मतलब आप लाइफ में तरक्की कर रहे राहुल ड्राविड हैजर्स ब्रो कम ऑन I feel that when you're dealing with this fame-based career, mm-hmm. after you cross a certain threshold, there will be an yeah, input of hate. You have to be okay hate. with hate. Yeah. You're going to get lots of it. Yeah, which is why it kind of I won't say bothers me, but I I do get a little fried when I see younger creators fearing being cancelled so much mm-hmm. or fearing being hated on so much. That's because true. you've chosen this career. You yeah. are going to piss off certain people just because you're in this career. and at its core it's jealousy people are going to get jealous of the numbers you That's see so true <laughs> and a lot of these young folks they are trying to be extra like vigilant and all because their friends are super like hey how can you piss off this person how can you piss off this community how can you piss off this s- sentiment or whatever mm. the thing is after point you can't please everyone dude you can't be so politically correct all the time where you're so vigilant about each and everything <laughs> something as basic as a यार ठीक है सम पीपल बॉट अ डॉग दैट वॉज नॉट अडॉप्टेड आई पर्सनली रेकमेंड अडॉप्टिंग एंड नॉट शॉपिंग नाउ इफ दे बॉट दैट डॉग फाइव ईयर्स अगो मे बी दर पेरेंट्स गॉट इट यू कैन बी लाइक यू नो ट्रैश टॉकिंग दैम हाउ डेर अब है ना तो अब वो कुत्ते को भेज दे क्या वापस रस्ते पे लाइक वॉट डू एक्सपेक्ट आई आई सी द वर्ल्ड हैविंग चेंज थ्रू द कोर्स ऑफ कोविड डूड आई डोट लाइक सो जाकिर खान टोल मी दिस राइट अबाउट द टाइम द फर्स्ट वेव वॉज एट एट स्पीक ही सेट दैट देर इज गोइंट बी अ लॉट मो हेट ऑन द इंटरनेट जस्ट नो दैट योर लाइफ इज कॉन्टेंट इट वॉज गोइंग चेंज कूल वट एवर बट वी रियली सीन दिस ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ हेट ऑनलाइन आई आई हेटेड इट वन पीपल यूज टू एड्रेस दिस होल हेटर्स कॉन्वर्सेशन बट वट एवर इट्स लाइक on so many panels now <laughs> and as a moderator more so i hate bringing up that question now okay? mm. so ranbir how do you deal with how it? do you deal with online hate and trolling are chup na yaar <laughs> like just get past it ignore the haters they want everything that you have yeah. very honestly they want the fame they want the money they want the clout yeah they are just hating on that and they want you to respond to like the hate most yeah. of all like, and the thing is they just want engage. to just how can i piss off this person so much that he just does gives a knee jerk reaction why don't you talk about the entire creator community of india but from the back end what does it look like is there a sense of competition are people trying to bring each other down yeah there's always competition man when people admit that oh i'm my only competition there's very few people that actually practice it and like uh, of course i have bias here but i know you're like one of those few people who genuinely don't give a shit after a point ki bro like fuck it like i'm playing my own game if he's growing grow let him grow it doesn't matter yeah because uh, i have so much stuff to put out in the world yeah. of youtube or social media yeah. that i have to keep switching my genres right. if you're someone who's continuously switching your genres or your type of yeah. content there's no way someone can compete with you because That's you're true. playing football one day you're playing hockey the other day you're yeah. playing cricket the third day right no one person can like compete with you right and the thing is india is such a massive audience base bro like no one's eating into your audience mm. like everyone has an audience base so Like chill out about that. Yeah. In saying that, there are still creators, maybe from some genre which we're not even related to, who might try pulling me down or pulling you down. All this happens, and news kind of travels back to <laughs> I, us. I I think we saw we're at that phase where we we enjoy that, and I know you do because yeah, yeah. you're always looking for some shit that you know someone spews at you. And now by now, I've also become super calm. That he gear like क्या हो जाएगा? Yeah. It's not going to change my life. So yeah. it's okay. Like, might as well laugh about it. I think when we were younger, and by younger, I even mean pre-COVID, huh. uh, maybe this stuff would have motivated us a lot. To go, I'll show yeah, them. Yeah, it would have made us super aggressive. That no, I will show them. But we are also at that phase where touch wood, it's like I don't have to prove a point to anyone, bro. Like, mm. oh, like. Why? Let yeah. me just do it for myself. It's okay. And let your work speak at the end of the day, Always. dude. Because I mean, honestly, the one thing I've come to realize lately. is that uh, money success are not the goals of life yeah. it's just your peace that's honestly the goal that's of life true. and if you keep playing your game if you're continuously growing obviously the money fame success is going to increase right. and then use it to build you know your that's own true. happiness around that's you that's true but i also feel like that's a very rich person thing to say yeah. maybe after but, a point yeah i mean see the point is initially everyone everyone is in that phase but they are chasing money to an extent because then you have that sort of stability where when you think ki now i want peace so my question is see bitching in our industry travels yeah. back as in if someone bitches yeah. about someone else it always reaches the 
person being bitched about right. because the creator community is not so very small, big in very india small. speaking about people who are bitching and, and this is not people making content about beer vices this is people who kind of they don't put up anything about us they do follow us on social media but then the bitching like reaches back to us <laughs> and we get to know that oh this person said this about you and we're like yeah we know we even know when people kind of play schemes to tarnish our careers like if we're trying to do something if we're trying to get a deal yeah. someone will go and say that no don't give it to monkey and it'll be someone who on our face shows that they're friends this is very sweet to us but that's okay i have also again come to terms with that that it's all right people you if you are in a certain place where you have some kind of leverage people will try to bring your leverage down and mm. that's i guess it's human psychology yeah. i will not blame them fine each their own is that kind of a vibe but i don't give a shit dude like yeah. it's let let them do what they're doing where and it it's also coming from a place specifically with regards to you of a very dude how is this guy like so relentless and and this might seem like a very like i'm sucking my own dick kind of a vibe that no we're not like you know patting our own backs but i know genuinely where people have confessed this to me that dude how is this guy so for like why does he not give up or like how how is he you know so motivated all the yeah, time yeah every day he wakes up and is trying to build something new and that's what a lot of people hate on that you know why are you preaching this mm. but you are not actually telling people to do this you're just saying this is what you do yeah. if you are in on it that's cool like that's your like, vibe all my motivational scripts and even tweets are actually messages to myself yeah. i'm telling myself things essentially yes but people assume that oh are you are you telling all of us that we should live like you i yeah. mean i'm telling the community we've built because that's what i've yeah. always said that's how i've built the community i've always spoken to myself in my scripts if i want to improve my focus i study about how to improve my focus put it in a script yeah. so that i can watch that video and remind myself that oh this is what you learned this is what you applied this is what that's worked true. for you no which is why it shows that your community will put in fire emojis and bhai yes 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 and the people who it's not meant for at all and who could practice you know igno- ignorance there could uh, could mute you could avoid your content will just to make a point Uh, why is this guy preaching everyone to hustle grind all that bro just chill out you sleep if you want yeah. to this is international youtube channel we follow called yes theory they right. have a slogan called yeah. seek discomfort yeah. and i think that's a gorgeous slogan yeah. and that's what i am also trying to put out there that seek discomfort yeah. get uncomfortable every day and i think that concept pisses off people because we remind them that yeah. listen it's not okay to be chill and lazy right. all the time yeah. you have to go and do something in the world yeah, so absolutely. because somewhere the content is kind of what's it called needling them in their <laughs> comfort bumps uh, it's against their belief systems and also what bro like there's many things that go against my belief system but i don't come around like bitching about you dissing you like just ch- i don't want dra- i'm in that phase where i don't want faltu ka drama in my life yeah. like i have 10 things to execute already yeah the beautiful thing about aging is one <laughs> you become calmer like anger Way leaves you calmer, bro. and the second thing is uh, you get busier in many yeah. ways like either with family or with work or whatever and i feel a lot of online hate right now the kind of online hate we're seeing with cancel culture mm. it's driven by teenagers college students and that's fine yeah you know like uh, what i feel is these guys will grow up a little bit and kind of let go of yeah hate they, because in general they have a lot of notions where they feel like the world is black and white boss that's not how it is mm. like you will always have to pick a lot of gray areas in your life because you just cannot change the world by mm. yourself mm. there's just too many factors at play eventually when age catches up on you you think that okay sure like there are certain things that will be impediments to me and will be obstacles to me so okay i can i will pick my battles mm. that's the thing i've learned growing older that pick your battles bro you can't win every fight mm. just you you can't doesn't matter how much money you have bro like f- dude you would think sharukh khan would get his son the bail immediately no dude didn't f- happen for him mm. he had to be humble down essentially mm. but that's that's how it is if sharukh khan was humble down dude you are f- nobody yeah also uh, i think when you intensely hate on anyone it could be someone in your friend group someone you know someone who's trying to tarnish your career yeah. or an influencer content yeah. creator like all the hate directed towards say me or ashish chanchari or yeah. bhuvan or prajakta yeah. whoever it is right that if you're holding that internal hate inside you it's right. going to affect your mental health yeah just like when you let go of hating or giving a shit about what others are doing and just focus on your own game it's the most calming experience you can have in your life yeah no that's true because i've seen you go through that process like you had that whole angsty punjabi face where you used to hold back on shit that 
अब इसने क्यों ऐसा बोला yeah. कैसे इसने बोल दिया then it used to show in your work and then now you're in a much calmer phase ki theek hai bol diya what's next like yeah, let's like, move on i've got too many videos to create <laughs> i've got too many brand deals to execute on uh, and that's why we're going up to like five six pieces a week hmm. i also want to talk about new age social media dude you told me something damn interesting as the co-founder of monkey you have a birds eye view on how creators across genres mm. are thinking right there's a lot of people who are getting demotivated about making long form content yeah, absolutely. people are sticking now to reels shorts and it's not even their fault yeah. the algorithms are pumping those kind of videos out and more and the brands are pumping money in those algorithms and in those kind of features so the point here is that for example let's assume that you are a lockdown creator is the new term essentially that's there's, what they call it i mean yeah there's a lot of people that just sprung onto the scene because of the lockdown also secondly the fact that reels was introduced in lockdown right so and algorithm was fantastic it was helping creators you could have one viral video and you could be an overnight um, semi celebrity yeah. of in, sorts internally in bhai sir we call it the algorithmic an- anomaly yeah. like which it means that. um that in 6 years of this journey We've only seen one point where algorithms were pumping out your work so yeah, much, and yeah. people could go from like hundred k to a million, maybe in a month. Yeah, it and happened with Niharika, Niharika for example, Yashraj uh, Mukherjee. Yashraj. Yeah. Like just content started being pumped out to the whole world. Yeah. Uh, on explore pages, uh, and obviously, I mean, this doesn't uh, mean that their content yeah, was bad. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Their content was good. That's why it got pumped out. Like they just got such a good platform immediately because yeah. otherwise it's very difficult to grow that big on YouTube. Yeah. To give you context, we have certain creators at Monkey who grew using short content. the money they've made in 6 months yeah is the money that viraj and me took 3 and a half years to make yeah, to hit that crazy. mark oh, i mean see the point here is essentially that any new industry takes time to build uh, i mean you can say run we sort of paved the way into that industry and a lot of the first second gen creators paved the way and everyone else who comes in has it easy yeah you know it's partly pissing off for me yeah. like that <laughs> <laughs> इतनी मेहनत करनी पड़ी ओके टू गेट द एंड दीज पीपल आर मेकिंग लाइक क्विक शॉर्ट थर्टी सेकंड वीडियोस गेटिंग पेड लैक्स ऑफ रुपीस लैक्स ऑफ रुपीस फॉर थर्टी सेकंड्स ओके फॉर अस एंड वी हैव टू रियली ग्राइंड आवर वे टू द टॉप द गुड न्यूज़ इज दैट नाउ वी वी काइंड ऑफ नियर द टॉप सो इफ वी जस्ट सस्टेन एंड कीप ग्रोइंग ग्रेट it's bad news for content creators who are fading away and we are seeing a lot of early generation yeah. content creators fading away who don't know how to adapt who don't know how to probably make short form content who don't know how to engage with the younger set of audience a lot of the newer set of audience on instagram and youtube is like below 21 22 yeah. it's that whole gen z that you talk about all the behavior has changed man attention spans have Completely. reduced so yeah. uh, and and you know this if you want to sustain as a long form content creator you have to mm. go ham on edits yeah. to keep the viewers stimulated that's how mythpat has grown right. his whole game is about edit carry whole game about edit yeah. even us if we are releasing vlogs now dude we are very edit centric we yeah. have to have new frames it every two seconds it needs to be meme centric it needs to be elements of humor punches all the time yeah that's what vlogs yeah. have evolved into as well everyone's yeah. making extremely quick vlogs and they are the only yeah. people who are surviving the yeah. issue is that not everyone's an experienced editor So yeah. for young kids to learn that style and that level of editing is difficult. Right. We have a team which is helping us. It's like a five person, six person unit at least that works on vlogs. Yeah. No, that's true. Like for example, take this whole idea of uh, comedy sketches. It was such a big deal in the first second generation of creators. Types of sisters, yeah, types, types of brothers. Yeah, types of all that. And you see no one creating comedy sketches anymore. Every new creator, every short form creator that's coming onto YouTube is only making vlogs. or like challenge based content and stuff like that because and i've spoken to quite a few of them their vibe is that bro i make so much money from reels itself which is like a 30 second video for me which would probably take me 3 4 hours to make as opposed to a full long format video where i need crew i need a script i need a location i need cameras all of that and i get the same amount of money and lesser views so why would i sort of do that I want to also mention one thing as a creator. This is for all the young creators watching this, and everyone's pretty much a young creator now. Any kid yeah. who's in college, <laughs> you will have to be a creator. You'll have to grow your personal brand. Uh, you know, we mentioned that adapting to the new formats and new style of doing things is the difficulty that early generation content creators are facing. Mm-hmm. That phase when you're learning how to adapt and learning the newness, it's very uncomfortable for a content creator because yeah. that means you have to break certain systems, certain True. thought processes, certain workflows with your own teams. Mm-hmm. Now these guys who've been established. Say in 2015, 2016, hmm. for them they have to shake shit up too much. Yeah, and there are very few who are motivated at this stage to actually now 
restart now everything. Okay, now from the phase of creating YouTube videos, I need to use trending music in reels for the content that suits my style. So if I'm an infotainment YouTuber, how do I use uh, uh, a Hardy Sandhu Bijli Bijli <laughs> music to to fit into my reel? Yeah. So yeah. um, and I think that. people basically who are uh, getting annoyed with changes hmm. are the ones who are fading away but any industry works that way why do yeah. you see certain businesses tanking it's basically hmm. this logic only they're not able to adapt or evolve according to the times yeah so true. we're just seeing this in social media you guys are social media consumers that's why we're talking about from a social media perspective the world has heavily changed after covid um yeah anyway right. talking about change let's move to a lighter topic right there's a lot of change in your life mr ranveer yeah Mat- I have What's moved. Happening? I feel grown up. I'm turning 29 on the first of June 2022, and mm-hmm. moving to my own home with my own systems has been mm-hmm. a massive blessing. Mm-hmm. It's little things like uh, me being able to follow my diet because I've explained to my cook that at this time, give me these, these, these things. Right. When I was staying with my family, my mother was the alpha of the house. Right. And she would set all the rules. So everything was according to what they had her, yeah. experience with her over the last thirty years of her existence right. in that house. Right. But for me, uh, to be like a kid who grew up there, right. You can't set certain rules. You have to break the chain. Here, I I get to like set certain rules. Yeah. I also feel that for me, the first lockdown was a blessing because I was doing jhadu pocha. I cleaned vessels. <laughs> I learned how houses work. Right. Beyond being a kid born into privilege. Yeah, 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 makes uh, sense. So now when I'm in my own house, I'm able to set very, very efficient systems. Hmm. That's actually improved my work efficiency a lot. Okay. Parallelly, we're also running the office through this house. Oh. Parallelly, we're running a writing unit through this house. Right. So. I get like the best rest, calm, sleep, right. uh, get-togethers with friends, and I'm highly efficient when it comes to work. Producing a lot more content. We're gonna have sections now. We're going to add some background music. Cue the music because it's time for PC News. Okay, it's time for PC news. We're going to cover some current affairs based topics. It could be everything from cryptocurrencies and web3 to what's happening in the country to what's happening from a geopolitical perspective to sports. To sports baby. Also over time in these episodes we're going to get experts from industry. So tell us who else you'd want to see on the show based on these current affairs based podcast. This is the new kind of reinvention we're doing on the show also because I am Garibo ka Joe Rogan and I will bring in that podcasting culture in this country so what the way we'll do this is we will go through news headlines really fast kind of go deeper into it hmm. uh, and just discuss things you want to talk about the crypto <coughs> crash that happened this week yeah just f-ing nuts bro it was i don't know what the numbers are but some it fell 50% from its peak hmm. so uh the peak was about $60,000 for bitcoin hmm. and i think it's at roughly 30 to $35,000 now if i'm not wrong hmm. i invested a shit ton i've been bang- so i've been buying uh, buying the dips all the time buy the di- buy the dip buy the dip karke my full f- portfolio has <laughs> dipped dude let's have what's what percentage of your portfolio is in crypto dude uh oh about <laughs> 10%. <laughs> oh, that's safe. That's a decent yeah. edge. Um, I have like some 30% in crypto, dude, and I'm like all my calculations that I see on my end money app. This is not a paid sponsored slot where it shows my net worth <laughs> I, and it gives you like a weekly update, okay? Because of stocks and all falling, it shows like how much money you lost in a week. Mm. And when you see that, you get really fucked in the mind. Yeah. Repro- I lost that much money in a week. So Ethereum Ethereum, for example, which mm-hmm. is my personal pick in right. cryptocurrencies, yeah. because I've understood like the logic of it. Right. This is the thing, you know, people who criticize cryptocurrencies, a lot of them have non-engineering backgrounds and they don't understand what cryptocurrencies are based on. As engineers, we've gone deep into it. I'm working on a tech startup which is kind of Web3 based going forward. Yeah. Therefore, Ethereum itself is the lowest it's been since 30th July 2021. We're recording this on 22nd. Wow. Sorry, 25th Jan. That's um, heavy, man. speaking to <coughs> all these uh, metaverse folks and crypto folks mm. like somit gupta of coin dcx one thing i have learned is with bitcoin and ethereum you've got to hold on to them in the long term yeah absolutely so do not get mentally swayed by yeah. uh, dips like this yeah. it will bounce back because of the bitcoin community because of all the technologies which are built using ethereum networks you know so the thing is people i mean 
everyone's like knows these buzzwords decentralization and web3 and all of that but people aren't really able to understand how it's sort of again democratizing and giving back power in uh, the hands of actual developers and people who know about technology and not like bureaucrats and you know individual founders and See, things like that it's it's going to take power away from world governments and it's yeah. going to take power away from the current social media companies right now who controls your news who do you think controls your news yeah it's like all your big tech and your you your know big your government yeah. and your government so if the power is being taken away from yeah. these people they are aware of it because there are They're experts very uncomfortable with and it, yeah. that's why you hear a lot of negative narratives about these uh, but concepts but thing is it's also so deep into adoption now that it's too late for them to sort of now be like no now fuck off like yeah. we're the government also specifically speaking about ethereum yeah. um when you want to buy or sell nfts yeah you do that in ethereum yeah so That's, ethereum is one of the key like uh you know currencies that you need to trade nfts yeah. you can do it with some other currencies also but it's like it's important nfts we all know the hype that's going around and yeah. it's not just plain hype there are actually nfts with utilities which is basically that it's if, like everyone's always making a meme out of are maine ek toote hue patthar ka image le liya for a million dollars kaun chuka karta hai aisa mm. that's but <laughs> like it's good to have a laugh on that but that's not actually what is happening yeah. so everyone's crying about the fact that ye ek patthar ka photo le liya 1 million dollar ke liye kya chuka? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. bro it's it's not that simple like it's good to have a laugh on that but like for example this uh, board a pot club it's it it's held by uh, some of the top celebrities i heard i think kanye west also bought some M&M. today eminem bought it snoop dog has it there's a lot of utility in the fact that you become a member of an exclusive group that's that's it that's the logic like for example we go to soho house yeah. or whatever why yeah. would people spend lacks of rupees on louis vuitton bags yeah exactly it's sort of the same thing that it oh, brings you in a certain league yeah, you see zendaya holding a louis vuitton yeah, bag yeah exactly whatever. and you want to be part of the same community that's why it's valued so much and they have utility it's not just that you buy an image you get perks there are events that you get access to you get to interact with a lot of these celebrities yeah. there's networking and everyone's all about network is your net worth that truly is true in this case because the kind of opportunities that you get and i have seen this from the closest quarters bro like the kind of opportunities that come through in the circle that we have like 3 years ago i would not even have been able to fathom that mm. like we're on the same investor cap tables as some of the biggest entrepreneurs in the country and the world and yuvraj singh yeah and you yeah and <laughs> yuvraj singh that's nothing by kal pe the founder of oneplus so we co investors with yuvraj singh i yeah. see him batting and wrecking england and pakistan and australia yeah. and we're investing with him now it's crazy imagine that that kind of opportunity and access is limited so network truly is your net worth and uh, that's what it is speaking specifically about ethereum basically like the coding languages used to create web 2 apps were of type a now type b is this new type which is called blockchain protocols and amongst those blockchain protocols people use the ethereum network to build web 3 based apps the popular one that everyone knows is nfts yeah. that's been the buzzword but there's a lot more technologies that are going to be formed in the metaverse which will be built using the ethereum network yeah there's a lot of fintech yeah. d5 coming through on these as now well. for any eki to use the ethereum network to build further apps or further nfts right. they have to kind of purchase a ticket to be a part of the network that ticket is one ethereum token or yeah, some or whatever ethereum, ethereum value yeah think of it like petrol to uh, <coughs> go be in a car Similarly if you want to use the Ethereum network to create apps or softwares yeah. you have to use the Ethereum tokens yeah. that's what drives up the value of Ethereum yeah, so when we're saying oh understand the engineering behind it this is yeah. what we mean ki it's not bullshit it's not like yeah. oh what's the base value or what's the fundamentals of this there are many fundamentals yeah. to it and Polygon which is a massive indian blockchain success story is also built on the Ethereum network So basically, Polygon-like tokens, Ethereum-like tokens. You need to understand what's the technology behind this token. And I say this because there's a lot of false cryptocurrencies out there. There's a thousand out there yeah. which are going to lose their value no time. Doge coin is one of them. Yeah. Just random hype-based coins. Those are the cryptocurrencies you need to be aware of. In terms of don't invest in these. Yeah. In terms of investing, what I've got from experts, Sumit Gupta, Sandeep Nelwal, they like stick to Bitcoin, stick to Ethereum. 
Yeah, and again, no financial advice. Do yeah. your own research. It's always D Y O R. I'm relaying news, man. Yeah, d- yeah. <laughs> this is always D Y O R, bro. Do your own research. Yeah, this is not financial advice. This yeah. is just what this is those two, guys do. Yeah, conversation, man. Two dudes just talking about money, and this is pretty much what we do. Yeah, See, that that's the beauty of podcasts. That uh, basically we're not bought out by anyone. We are in complete control <laughs> of what we are saying, and we kind of like just. Having a conversation and imagine that you're on the room with us. Yeah, this is a new kind of news, baby. Why does such a massive dip happen anyway? So a lot of people liquidating, a lot of people uh, just feeling like maybe we've made our returns, so we'll just sort of go ahead. Some kind of news of some country ba- apparently banning Bitcoin or Ethereum or cryptocurrency, things like that, lead to panic. Panic. And anything that leads to panic also leads to massive selling. Mm. Um, that's why the stock market also right now is like dipping big time. Also, the thing is, a lot of experts say that there's a lot of correction coming through. That all the valuations were so high. for all things stocks crypto everything included that this correction was important so a lot of the experts are actually happy about the fact that okay we're seeing a dip finally because things are settling things are normalizing uh, there's this whole fact that some 80% of all of america's dollars were printed in the last one year mm. so the inflation is going to be like at a massive peak and this is part of all of that correction so Again, this is all that I have read about, the and we have a little I understand of economics. So, yeah, we need to get a proper economist on the show. Yes, absolutely. So give us your recommendations. Okay, moving on because we don't want to go that deep just into crypto. Yeah, let's talk about Musti. Ah, uh, okay. Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli's daughter. <laughs> daughter. Her photos got leaked. Her <laughs> photos got leaked. So what's funny is like we were watching the match yesterday, India South Africa, and. Suddenly, I was just scrolling through Twitter and I see that Virat Kohli's daughter's photo has been leaked, and I mean, of course, and everyone will be like, "Hey, ha, Virat Kohli, Jesse, dikhegi na wo." But dude, she is the absolute carbon yeah. copy of Virat Kohli. Like, I can seriously see like someone might have morphed Virat's face on on his baby. You know, yeah. is that similar? Yeah, super, super cute, and yeah. I think she's getting a lot of love from the country. But I'm sure as parents. somewhere you'll be feeling uncomfortable that yo i don't want my kids face to be out there i used yeah. to have this with my mom and sister on youtube right. you know they my family they're not going to be on camera eventually <laughs> i use them also for content but that's when i reach a certain level of comfort right kind of makes me think about how having a family of my own will affect how i look at fame in the first place how i yeah. look at uh the privacy of my family in the first place but i don't sort of agree on that but because like if they were so uncomfortable they i mean they, they obviously expected to get shot right like in terms of not mm. shot shot like <laughs> shot <laughs> in terms of like it's a public arena man you can't stop anyone to click pictures mm. so i i don't think that whole uh, like the whole announcement that virat and anushka did that oh well, how dare someone you know leak pictures or you know whatever like bro come on like did you not expect that mm. of course that was bound to happen sometimes i wonder if uh, you know both of them got fame at around 19 18 or 19 years when she right. was the gamne bana di jodi and, and he was the band captain band of under 19 yeah, yeah 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 they got fame very early in life yeah i am sure that their perception of the world is slightly different than someone else who's their age and that's not their fault yeah it's an outcome of, of their reality seeing success early very yeah. early dude yeah. imagine virat kohli's life you're getting your india debut at 21 yeah now you change so much from the age of 18 to 22 you change even more from 22 to 25 yeah. according to me Yeah. and you keep changing every year like we are so different than how yeah. we were even a year ago yeah that's so true dude now he's living in that world one it obviously it would force him to grow up really right. fast captain of the indian team bagaira right. that's what they kohli and arushka have actually openly said that when he became captain right. like when full captain okay when yeah. dhoni kind of handed over the reins right. completely right. odi plus test captaincy yeah. Dhoni told Kohli that now wait and see how your beard becomes white soon. Yeah, and we see this with <laughs> all. That's so captains, true. Right? Yeah, that happened. There has to be some level of aging, but, but there's all... so much pressure, dude. Like you, like cannot even fathom, right? It's like imagine a billion people abusing you, cussing you when you're losing a match. How you probably can't get sleep at night, bro. Mm. And and imagine what it's like facing each ball, dude. Yeah. Like yeah. if you get out without scoring much. Yeah. 
there's going to be a billion people like coming yeah, and as you. a captain i now understand why a lot of legendary players sort of give up captaincy you know mm. i never understood like sachin was like are i want to focus on my batting so i won't take up captaincy i was like bro how difficult is it like mm. but it's like every ball you have to be taking decisions yeah. and there's a lot of uh, off the field work as well yeah, like all I've, the time I've, yeah a lot of politics you have to deal with a lot of bullshit you have to get involved in mm. which as a leader you will have to but mm. i mean so for example sachin made that call kohli also made that call that dude i want to get back to my batting peak a great show to watch is um, all or nothing on prime video mm-hmm. they document sports teams from the inside and these are top sports teams right. epl teams they've even done all blacks and rugby you know right do you get to see what sports is like from a very uh, kind of close quarters angle right. there's also one about the australian cricket yeah, team yeah i saw that I forgot what the show was called, but it's called the test. Yeah. Very well made. Yeah. Uh, I, but I feel it's not as personal as All or Nothing. All or Nothing shows yeah. you the complete raw thing. Dude, your whole opinion on watching sports will change, and you'll realize how these guys are our age, man. Yeah. They yeah, all born absolutely. in the early nineties, and yeah. now they're having to deal with like imagine what KL and Hardik dealt with. Uh, yeah. After, after the Karan coffee Karan was Karan thing. They were twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Dude, we're still kids, man. We're learning like every year. <coughs> yeah. So I'm sure, like, while I'm not defending what they said, but yeah, of course. It's like you got to keep room for people to make to, errors to make dude. some errors I mean yeah absolutely it brings it back to that stop criticizing stop f- engaging everything that celebrities I do. don't think you can control that people will do that so well yeah. if you pick the route of fame you have to deal with it yeah also every form of public criticism is also a form of mental masturbation right in what sense like, like when you do burai of someone it's huh. often a way of making yourself feel a superior slight, slight superiority them. not complete superiority but slight hmm. superiority in that aspect ki sab log to usko poojte hai everyone's worshiping them i am not like, <laughs> like why do you get pissed off if a cricket player is in bad form huh? yeah. how is he playing If I was in his place, I'd like play much yeah, better. Let me go teach him. अरे <laughs> अरे चुप सुरेश बैट पकड़ना सीख ले. Yeah, but again, this is too deep a thought yeah. to kind of put out on the podcast. Basically, at least our community, the TRS community that we're building out, um, you know, don't take part in bitching in your own personal circles and don't take part in public bitching. Uh, you'll feel just more chill. Like kind, of, this yeah. is what I do, dude, and I, I consciously do this in real situations, right? If there's a group that's gossiping too much, or someone who's just talking about gossip, I just step away. I go to another group. Yeah, it's too much fucking drama. The thing is that you probably indulge in it. You say something, someone in that circle will probably go back to someone else and say, "Ki you know what Ranveer said? <laughs> He probably would not have said it, or didn't mean it, or context was different." अरे ब्रो मेरे पास नहीं है टाइम ये सब मैं गुजारने का मैं हसल कर रहा हूँ ना ट्रिगर्ड इट्स ऑनेस्टली इट्स ऑनेस्टली अ फैंटास्टिक जोन टू बी इन वेन योर कॉन्स्टेंटली लाइक डू विराज इन मी टॉक अबाउट बुलशिट and yeah. if we're not talking about bullshit we're talking about how to make the next big bag yeah. of money it's one of these two things yeah. uh and it's a great zone to be in and and our bullshit is often not saying are wo chu kya hai ye chu kya hai it's it's more it's like talking about sports or it's talking about just random funny news like like this virat kohli thing we talked about in general ki yeah. masti ho rahi hai okay you want to talk about some interesting future tech based news Yeah, absolutely. What's happening? What crazy, whacked-up shit is Elon Musk up to? What what chips is he going to fucking penetrate in my body so he gets all the data? Penetrate in your balls. Yeah, penetrate in my asshole so that he gets all the data. <laughs> Viraj of ki... what sh- what kind of shit I get in the morning? <laughs> he'll, he'll see your nice Jen shit. <laughs> Elon Musk, bro. Okay. Uh, Elon Musk basically everyone knows what Neuralink is. For those of you who don't know, Neuralink is say if someone has had some kind of lafda in their brain, something's gone wrong in their brain, some part mm-hmm. of their brain is malfunctioning. Uh, Neuralink is a computer body interface, mm-hmm. which means that it links your actual biology of your body to computers, and using those Bro. computers, mm-hmm. you can actually send electric signals within your brain. Because what is a nervous impulse? When I'm lifting my arm, it's mm-hmm. basically some sort of electricity that's going right. on in your body. Right. And even Tesla used to say this. that our bodies are completely made up of electricity that you right. can actually manipulate if you have the right machinery which is why they also say that tesla uh, didn't release a lot of his um, inventions. inventions yeah and if you watch the movie the prestige yeah. there's actually a whole section on tesla knowing christopher nolan who directed the prestige right. uh, he would have actually done research about some things that for tesla sure, actually made sure. there's they say that urban legends are tesla didn't release a lot of his shit uh, elon musk is very fascinated by tesla yeah. which is why he's obviously yeah, named clearly. tesla tesla <laughs> 
uh, and I'm sure that somewhere Elon Musk looks at himself as a Punar Janam of Tesla yeah, in some form, like the, like the yeah. Western version of that. Ki, uh, <laughs> Reincarnation. Reincarnation. So, <laughs> yeah, Reincarnation. 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 Reincarnation.
no idea whenever the cursor reached a word or phrase he wished to use ah. hawking twitched his cheek muscle to select it uh, what oh, the f- oh yeah so it was like a in in engineering and in coding we have those if else thing yeah, basically yes yeah using yes no my god so he even want to say a simple sentence it would take him time to construct it or yeah. <laughs> maybe we used to only hear him talk in speeches and he would pre plan those probably, speeches probably yeah probably that damn dude that's a tough life man that's a tough life yeah oh this is exactly what it is because of this stephen hawking's speeches and interviews were done in advance to save time okay uh, so he had he <laughs> took very long to to Shit. say something using his cheek muscle but now just using your thoughts wow. you can tweet that's in <laughs> five years time yeah that's interesting yeah like i'm sure touch screen i remember the first touch screen phone i was i was in 2005 i remember this very yeah. clearly but there was talk of touch screen phones in 2001 2002 yeah so until it becomes i won't say cheap but at least <coughs> it becomes a d to c product direct to consumer product yeah. it will take another 5 years 4 yeah, five easily, years yeah easily that's f-ing crazy dude so to close this neuraling loop what i also want to say is that one thing elon musk didn't talk about in that joe rogan episode is that if neuraling can help fix the brain i'm sure at some point version 2 or 3 of neuralink can help enhance the brain like the movie limitless another massive right. movie recommendation yeah. if you should watch it bradley cooper takes a brain enhancing drug so he becomes extremely fast paced he right. uses it to become a stock trader stock trader yeah uh, and makes a lot of money off it because yeah. he can just read things faster he can right. code faster he can become a better writer he also uses it uses it to kind of um become a much better lover and improve his and personality and dating game yeah yeah dating game yeah. and it it's a great movie it's a great thought experiment kind of movie and those are my favorite movies to watch yeah that makes sense okay and finally uh, the last section personal out. life update so ranveer who are you fucking <laughs> dating dating bola maine <laughs> uh currently no one because of the four pieces that we're putting out on youtube every week i don't honestly have time for a dating life right now right um, classic bro mai single hu kyunki mai bahut kaam karta hu yaar excuse <laughs> but i tell you what when i was in my previous house when i was staying with my family i was thinking a lot about marriage a lot of thoughts about companionship were <coughs> happening in my head when i moved to this house I felt like just being in this house with the team hmm. kind of working with someone to take care of me in terms of my food all that that's yeah. not what I want from a relationship I want other things you are totally dependent on your partner in your relationship no. but Ranveer Alabad is that what you're no, saying No I am not saying that I am are saying you, uh, are, is this relationship going to be of that of a babysitter no, no, are you looking for I, a babysitter and a girlfriend in terms of what I want in a girl I want someone who's ambitious and spiritual that's and someone who can I make want. you food no <laughs> I'm I'm the cook in this household because okay, Beer Biceps started as a cooking channel if you don't believe me go check out Beer Biceps recipes I, coming back to the point <laughs> what I want to say is that um in this house yeah. i felt it made up for 50 to 60% of everything that i expected marriage will make up for which is peace right. of mind new kind of life systems enhanced creativity enhanced creativity calm and that just got me thinking that hmm maybe i'm not ready for marriage yet because i know that if i get married i've been in long term relationships hmm. with with fantastic partners hmm. even the best partner in the world requires a lot of energy and time yeah which i don't have right yeah, now yeah you can't half ass a relationship honestly that that doesn't make sense it ends terribly yeah. and i feel like so you're saying that a piece of marble is completing you better than an actual person yeah a piece of marble along with our cook lakshmi bhaiya along <laughs> with sanjit nachiket and dhawal staying in this house and yeah. our other staff visiting regularly yeah. i'm enjoying this phase of my life last so you, you like being around your team yeah. more than being around your partner at this stage Fair. Um the last 2 3 weeks have honestly been the happiest 2 3 weeks of my life like yeah. I've not had higher happiness levels than this I've not felt this level of happiness That's crazy See uh, money can buy happiness <laughs> Yeah honestly like I mean it it buys you freedom and freedom gets you happiness Yeah that's true Um so uh that's where I am at mentally but in saying all this I have come to the realization that if the right person comes your way mm-hmm. you don't deny it and right. I come from a place of having scanned my own career the best career moments and decisions came samne se right so I'm assuming that the same thing will happen in life <coughs> and the right partner will just kind of I'm not pop sure up about that but this is, dating is like a two way thing man like with with career at least once you grow further you have a lot more incoming than outgoing probably I don't know that's what I've thought of so far just stay open and let life happen to you 
that's my zone that's right. right now that's a good scene what's that's a up good with vibe. you emotionally me <laughs> <laughs> are you feeling vulnerable i'm going through a breakdown man <laughs> no no it's chill i'm also in a good phase but yeah i was like super pissed because i am also consistently now so just my my brother got married and um, dude there's a that you know how bombay houses are bro bombay houses are f-ing small and there's there are houses cannot house five people I will go fucking nuts. I will go crazy. And like we were discussing earlier, how open spaces can sort of, you know, make you saner. Let's let's end this particular episode. Yeah. What I want to say is that staying alone or kind of moving towards an yeah. independent life is very rewarding. It, liberating. It'll, it'll kind of it'll liberate you. It'll also help you grow from a 360 degree perspective. You'll get to understand yourself also much more deeply. And you can have sex whenever you want. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. That's just that's, kidding. That's what people who don't live by themselves feel. Ki bro, if this friend of mine has a flat of his own, dude, he must be getting action left, right, and center. <laughs> that's Wait. not the f-ing point of it. Even it's literally just that you have your peace. Like I like to follow certain morning routines, which I can't in a yes, crowded. Fact. Yeah. <laughs> yes, fab is your morning routine nowadays. No, that's... after the nice COVID, me it's not no fab. I mean, my muscle look good. Just by the way, guys, and you you guys still send me DMs. I personally have stopped no fab since a while. So I really vibe with the fact that you tell me that you've gone on no fab for two years. I, I respect that. But dude, my my thing was just an experiment. I was not preaching anything. Ki ye karo. तो ही गर्लफ्रेंड मिलेगी तो ही सक्सेस मिलेगी तो ही बॉडी बनेगी नन ऑफ दैट बुल शिट इट्स एंड ऑनेस्टली आफ्टर पॉइंट इट्स प्लसीबो ओनली आई डोंट यू नो इफ देर साइंस टू इट इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ प्लसीबो की हाँ मैं अपने आप को ये डिनाई कर रहा हूँ तो मेरे लाइफ में ये हो रहा है प्लसीबो एंड इट गेट्स अ लॉट ऑफ व्यूज हाँ व्यूज तो मिल देते हैं हाँ चल ठीक है हाँ फिर बट या जस्ट लाइक चिल आउट अबाउट इट दैट्स नॉट द वाइफ एनी मॉर्निंग रूटीन आई लाइक टू स्टार्ट इट अ लिल चिल आई डोंट लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ tak 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 you know people yelling i'm like bro chill just i just woke up which is why i don't answer your calls till 1 yeah, pm yeah i get that now like <laughs> i totally understand because with him i'm always on panic mode kabhi aayega video kab kab karenge kaam so he's like like bro not now 3 yeah. pm 3 pm bro can <laughs> i learn from us marines get to know your own timing based systems get to understand when your mind is popping when your mind is creative when your mind is tired when your mind wants to work out and you'll be able to sort out your life a hmm. friend farin ahmed told me this yeah. don't go about your time management process but go about your energy management process right fantastic piece of advice makes sense to end this conversation of course we're talking about viraj sheet semen along with that some life advice viraj sheet is going to be back hopefully every week and hopefully we'll go up to three pieces on beer by self subscribe or oh, the last thing i want to say is our new not new but hmm. our third biggest youtube channel trs clips has started to pop again oh awesome short form content consume snackable intelligent content yeah go for it so guys please check it out because and help us make money uh yeah i mean dude the views are honestly going like the graph is exponential right now i'll show yeah. you after the podcast but we've changed up our strategy uh we're, we're asking different questions we're packaging those clips nicely if you've heard this podcast till the end fantastic for the other podcast if you just want highlights long on the trs clips the way we've built it out it's like a library of knowledge thank you for listening in virat shade flash and nipple super fast and that's the episode you, for you, today loss of the new vibe on the ranveer the ranveer show so guys that was the first ever episode we shot in this space uh, we also shot one with varun dugirala right after this recording even that was fantastic that also touched upon a few current affairs based topics uh, because i've brought on current affairs and news into the episodes i'm having to change the way we shoot our content rather than uh, sitting on a particular day and shooting a lot of podcasts now what we're going to do is we're going to record you know maybe one podcast in a day And the next day we'll record another podcast. I'm trying to make this more sustainable. Maybe even go up to three releases per week on the English podcast. I don't know. I'm in the middle of a lot of mental changes, and I really want to know what you guys thought of the new format of the show. Uh, how would you like us to change it? It's not full and final. This is experimental. If we feel that you guys are enjoying it, then we'll take it forward. Remember, highlights of each episode are available on TRS Clips, and of course, remember to follow us on Spotify. Every episode is available on Spotify forty-eight hours before it's available anywhere else in the world. We want to make TRS a part of your weekly routine, if not your daily routine. So keep following the show. 
help us help you help us build this beautiful community and most of all help us level up constantly the ranveer show is only getting started